Good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody out there doing? I'm doing excellent. Once again, it's uh, Wednesday morning, California, Oakland to be exact. I'm doing great, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing great. Um, Once again, welcome to BTV. Today, we got a, you know, a couple of good topics um, that we're going to be going over. Um, how I like to do this from now on is things that I do talk about. I would like to have uh, paperwork on that so you can see and understand, you know, what um, everything is about that I'm trying to say. So I will be having some uh, paperwork today. And... Um, on a couple of, well, got paperwork on one um, good topic. So, um, like we're about to start it off. Once again, like I say, good morning. Welcome to BTV. Um, the first topic I would like to talk about is, which is a good one. I like this. Um, a friend gave me this. Um, this topic, so we're going to get into this. Um, actually, um, I was enlightened by two good, both topics that I'm talking about today are kind of, somebody gave me um, the information, so like I said, let's, let's get it all. Um, first one is generational gifts and curses. That's really good generational gifts and curses um so you know as i was thinking about this and going over in my mind you know what i'm saying of um the generational gifts and curses that we receive and the ones that we pass down um so we're gonna start with generational gifts um Manners. I think manners, and I'm going to go back and forth um, with them. So manners, as far as generational gifts. Now, I started off and I thought about that one first because, um, you know, I was. don't get me wrong, money came in there. Um, but the reason why I say manners is if we go back in time, and you think about um, the manners that was passed down. I think about back in the, what's that, uh, let's say the 60s. Um, the young kids at that time would address the adults as sir, madam. You know, um, there was a um, respect that um, both um, younger generation and oh, that older generation, you know, um, showed for each other. So that manners, um, you know, had something to really, this is, this topic is my, you know, my opinion. Um, and like I said, we can, go back and forth, uh, but for that, manners, like I said, manners, um, I think that's big, because as we got, as we're now into 2020, and heading into 2021, the manners has, you know, um, there's no really manners, let's really be honest. Um, and I'm not saying this goes for everybody, um, but just in the world today, there's the manners and the respect level that we have for the older generation. Um, certain things as, you know, you can, on YouTube, you can watch, you know, older men getting beat up and, um, your, um, a woman getting her purse snatched, those type of things you know, old people wasn't getting 
you know, and like I said, you can go into the comments, but that wasn't a big thing back in those times to hurt the old person. Now, I understand if we're talking about, um, if we're talking about, you know, the racism that was going on back in those times, okay, that's fine. But as far as more so the manners that just that we had, you know, um, when you pass those down to your children, as far as, you know, being polite. Um, I know for myself, my son, he, um, he tends to not help walk past and somebody and, you know, and especially an older person, he, and I've, and I've taught him this, you know, some of the things that I've taught him was, you know, if we're going on the elevator, you let the older person go on first. He sometimes forgets that and just goes on. Back in those times, there was no forgetfulness. You knew you seen somebody older, you let them go on first. The women, um, if you're on the bus, they take the seat. The older person um, has the seat. The younger person will get up. Nowadays, you do that. That's not, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes that does not happen as often as it should, you know? So manners, as far as the generational gift, I think that if a kid has manners and self-respect, that to me is a generational gift. How so? Because you're learning that to have self-respect and respect for other people. That's something that is taught. You have to teach that to kids, especially into kids. Um, today's, I would like to call today um, PK. PK. What is PK? Parent knowledge. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go over some parent knowledge, just some tips, especially um, the paperwork that I have is more so for stress. Um, and we'll get into that later on. But like I self-respect when you have self-respect for yourself then you're going to have self-respect for you're going to have respect for the other person certain things are not going to happen because you do have self um self-respect um that's one of the things that is not taught so much in the music that we listen to you know, they don't teach, not all, but most of the stuff that you hear on the radio is not about self-respect. It's a more about um, limiting yourself um, and not reaching your full potential. See, to me, manner of self-respect, that's almost, a, that's a mindset to have. You understand me? That's, that's a mindset. That mindset of respecting yourself. How so? How do you respect yourself? Um, and this is for the next generation and even right now. How do we respect ourselves? You know, you don't give yourself. You don't, you know, when we were coming up, we were taught about private parts and not giving our private parts and showing our private parts to to people. Um, having self-respect, you're not going to show your private parts. You're not going to date or have the mindset to exploit yourself or somebody else for sex. Um, that gets us nowhere. You know what I'm saying? That gets us nowhere, especially, um, let's, let's really be honest, that gets us nowhere for the black community. Because what we do, what we tend to do is we tend to have a lot of sex and not fully put 
the kids first. You understand? Um, because we're trying to um, we're trying to find as parents, and you know, uh, you know, I, you know, I'm, I've been guilty of this. You know, sometimes as a parent. You you want that affection and you want that you want that um, something from that your you know what I'm saying your partner and sometimes it's not even based on your partner it's just about other people we tend to have sex with other people fast and not think about the results. And how that impacts every other, how that's going to impact. Just that one act of having sex with somebody can impact you, that person, the children. um, Because we're not having self-respect for ourselves. We can't just go out and have sex just with anybody. I I know I said partner, but I'm, I'm talking about just for anybody. So when I'm saying self-respect that self-respect is we can't be looking for love and basically what oh in all the wrong places we can't do that we have to put ourselves first that self-respect you understand we have to put that um self-respect first um the curses let's talk about the curses for a second um When I was looking at that cursive, I said, damn, social distance, social distancing. We're doing that now because of the situation with the COVID and that's another story. But yeah, so, you know, you see people with the mask and, you know, 